Hey guys, and welcome to my first official video. Um, I had a blast editing this one, so I hope you enjoy. Like, try and make the outpost. Just got a sword panel. I see a hazmat suit. Please headshot me. The story begins with me and my friend Nigel joining late on a server, uh, trying to get some BPs. Uh, on our way to our build spot, we basically end up finding a decayed base uh, that had a ridiculous amount of loot. I mean, it was probably 9 or 10 guys living out of it, so you can imagine what it had. You wanna go next to... Obviously, military tunnels, I think. Where the fuck is Millie? Millie's all the way out in the desert. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, I'm like the other side of the map. That's fine, I am as well. Now, as I made my way over to the desert, oh or to our base location, our future base location, I encountered some people on the way. This made me get really close to airfield as a result i got a bunch of rads uh so i lost a bunch of hp and it also didn't help that i got shot by this python turret right up here between bases and shit i'm getting shot by python turret. everyone hates me like legit oh that's not true i was just being a baby couldn't be So as we headed over to our build spot, along the way we found a couple of decayed bases. So of course your boy had to stop by and scavenge some loot because at the end of the day, uh, decayed bases can give you like great starts and like especially me being a naked, not having anything, this was definitely a mo like sort of a boost or a little bit of motivation to kind of keep going. Uh, so I stopped by most bases that I could find that had, you know, any sort of decay in it, just to check. This happened to be another decayed base. Uh, sadly, there was no actual loot in it, uh, besides, or like there, <laughs> there was boxes and stuff, but they were just empty. Besides the two workbenches, there, this base had no real value to me, so I grabbed the tier three and headed on my way. Now what do you know, as I finally got to the desert, the first thing I saw was this little decayed armored base, so, you know, of course I had to come and peek it, see what's up, see if I could get any loot, it ended up being just, you know, very average, I think somebody got to, to it before I did, sadly, so...
I don't know what it was about this base, but it felt like home or home for the time being. So I decided to patch it up with the wood I had, place the tier three and settled, settled down for, for the time being because it had boxes already and it was very convenient. It was in a convenient spot and I thought it was suitable for us to, uh, you know, to survive and uh, be successful here. Little did I know, we only lasted here, man, roughly 20 minutes. So the moment uh, we had finished building our base and settling down, I invited Nigel on the team uh, and ended up going to explore the area. Little did I know this would be one of my last times coming back to the base ever because the loot I was about to get was quite something. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How the hell did you get all that loot from a base like this? Well, it's pretty simple. This wasn't the base. This was just another one of those decayed bases that I had stumbled upon uh, while searching for, uh, for that lucky start. continued to roam around the map I realized that my chances of finding this decayed base this magical decayed base were very low so I started to lose a little bit of motivation and started to sort of think about what my next move would be because I came out here for one thing and one thing only that was to find a jackpot decayed base and I wasn't going to stop until I had that This wasn't just any plain 3x3. Three three. This was a 3x3 three three that most likely belonged to, like I said, a very large group. This group had all sorts of loot. I'm talking box of sulfur, I'm talking M2s, I'm talking like 40, 50 rockets, like anything that you can think of these guys had it and being a fresh spawn on coming from the beach not too long ago i didn't expect much of it when i came here because a lot of it was still sealed as you can see so you know it was tough to say whether or not it was gonna have loot or not so all i had to do was wait <laughs> Since it had twig around it earlier, I thought that maybe I got there a little bit too late, you know what happens. 
Luckily, these guys kept most of their loot on the second and third floor, and a little bit in the first floor, but not too much. Uh, you'll see later on. So as soon as I got some reassurance, I called Nigel over uh, because I knew I had to act fast. You know, at any moment, anybody could come and kill me and basically take the base over because it was for anybody to take. <laughs> As time went by, more and more of the base decayed, more loot rooms got exposed, um, so I ended up bagging Nigel in, and he waited for the timer and spawned in so we could make a base and transfer the rest of the loot. As time went by and Nigel spawned in, more loot rooms had opened, so we began discovering more loot because, like I said, more loot rooms got uncovered. Um, there were certain parts of the base that were completely open and certain parts that had uh, boxes and other places that had sleepers. So there was stuff just everywhere. There was lockers that had been broken from above. You can see there's loot bags there. Um, and like I was saying before, we had to act on our feet. We had to be fast about this. So this meant getting down a base very close to this base. So we could transfer all the loot safely. Do some recycling so we can get some BPs. Because at the end of the day, we did this in order to get BPs. So we could play wipe together and it just ended up you know, being this incredible success story where we found jackpot loot. You'll get weary of my touch, that's how much I'm gonna tell you that I won't I wanna let you know. As I began constructing the base, I noticed something weird across the beach. It was a dead body bag, which had turned into a backpack because it's been so long. And since it hasn't despawned yet, uh, there must be some loot on it. So Nigel went to go check it out. exactly what we did over the next 45 minutes we would be running back and forth transferring loot and making sure that we get every single bit of valuable loot in our little two by two so no one else could have it yeah we were that greedy <laughs> I tell you family I'm gonna let everyone know we began progressing and building up our base. We kind of started getting sidetracked because the original plan was for us to get blueprints, and after realizing that we had none, uh, we took some of the components that we got from the decayed base and went to the recycler in order to get some metal frags, make cold locks, as well as get scrap to research them. Blows 
Now, sadly, my time on the server was over as I had worked really early the next day and I had researched the majority of the stuff that I wanted. So, therefore, I was pretty much done with the server. We transferred most of the loot, most of the valuable loot that we needed into our 2x2 two two because the server was wiping. I think it was either the next day or the day after, so I really wasn't interested in playing. And sadly, between me recycling and going back and forth to the base, I basically only saw like one or two guys and really didn't get much PvP or action because the area we lived in was kind of isolated. Uh, but as, if you made it this far, I really hope you enjoy, like and whatever, if you guys uh, like this sort of content, like make sure to subscribe for more, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be posting a lot more often now, I can do voiceovers and pretty comfortable editing, I know it's really not the best thing that, you know, you might have seen, but I, I'm trying, and I really hope you guys appreciate oh that, God, you thank you for watching. We made it this far, here's a little bit of a bonus for you. Um, as I logged off, uh, the last loot room was just decaying, and as Nigel was logging off, he noticed that it had decayed. When you went upstairs, he saw that there was nearly 40 rockets in there, so he freaked out and sent me a screenshot. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoy. Till next time.